All right, Libra, let's get into your reading. Ooh, milk and honey. You're manifesting something so sweet. <laughs> There's something here, like pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, something, your luck is changing, something good is happening for you. You're being really flexible about it. I do feel that there is a new beginning. You're not trying to control the outcome or force it, push it. I feel like you're kind of going with the flow here. Wow, your person has blessed and serendipity. This is really good energy, Libra. I'm seeing a 111 and number 22 message in a bottle are you guys talking to this new person higher power it's something i feel destined and faded for you here or driven by a higher power wow you're both you got good vibes going both sides here so let's see what's going on with this person libra current energies for libra's person keep in mind libra this could be your energy it can be flip-flopped and reversed okay so place it where you see fit what is going on? Uh, okay, we have Eight of Cups, and then we have Queen of Swords. That's your energy in reverse, and Four of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Why? Why? Libra. The Chariot. All right. Cancerian energy. Moving on. The Hanged Man. Gaining some clarity. Changing perspective. Uh not fighting your purse this could be um energy of your person leaving behind walking away from something else there could have been a painful ending i feel like your person was in some kind of higher level of commitment that ended in betrayal backstabbing painful ending and they're not putting in work and effort in that situation anymore i feel like they are trying to come towards you here they're trying to, to, to move forward, move on from whatever it was in the past that hurt them or betrayal. So it's just wrapping that energy up, I feel like your person is doing. They're getting that strength, courage, confidence back. I feel like this is somebody new for you that you're talking to, maybe messaging back and forth or having like... Um, some small communication here it's it's new it's innocent it's fresh something like that i feel like you could be watching each other online seeing what each other are up to in a good way just checking each other out i do feel this is something new your person feels this is blessed and i think they're seeing signs synchronicities or feeling like their luck has changed as well as you so let's see what's blocking this connection for libra was it a third party situation Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. I, as far as like a third party, I'm not really feeling like this person put you in a third party. I feel like they're leaving behind a situation that's not serving them anymore and trying to come towards you. Arguments, disputes, competition, too many people involved. It could be a third party. There could have been a third party, I guess. Person, place, or thing, too, you guys, is a third party. What is this? Aquarius, energy with the star, healing, strength, sneaky behavior, the sun, the empress. Closing out a cycle. This person could have children with somebody. They're not happy there. There was sneaky, manipulative behavior, backstabbing, betrayal, fighting, arguments, disputes, possible third party energy, feeling stuck because they were stuck in something. I feel like they were stuck in another connection that they're trying to leave behind. They feel like you guys are meant to be. Yeah. They're trying to close that cycle out. All right, how does this person truly feel about you, Libra? How does this person feel about you? How do they feel about Libra? How does this person feel about Libra? Mm. Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords. Are Do they think you're the one being sneaky or you're the one putting them in this third party situation, Libra? What? Manifesting. 
temperance. Were you guys both like sneaking around together? As a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, something like that. I am feeling third party vibes now, okay? Um, this person's leaving somebody to come towards you. Either somebody that they live with, have children with, higher level of commitment with. Moving on to calmer waters. Temperance, though. That's divine timing, going with the flow, divinely guided. When it was flipped, let's see. You're giving them the strength, courage, confidence here. Leo energy. What was blocked is now... <laughs> I feel like this person didn't have the strength to leave where they were at, and you're giving them the courage and confidence to walk away from that. Mm -hmm. See, they see you as independent, looking good, feeling good. They want to reconcile this. If you tried to walk away from them or whatever the case may be, I feel like they want to reconcile or they, you gave them a wake-up call here. You woke them up from this nightmare that they were probably going through. They're seeing that this connection is blessed. You're changing their luck. They're feeling good about this. Yeah, they see you as very like powerful, driven, forward moving, independent, goes after what you want. You're giving them the strength, the courage, the belief that they can do this. I know, I don't usually like encourage people to like walk away, but I feel like there was something not healthy going on with what the situation that they're leaving so let's see what are you gonna do what's the outcome here what is the outcome for libra and this person potential outcome cards of the lion Okay, we have a wish fulfillment going on here. Ultimate wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. After this person actually ends whatever it is they need to end that they're stuck in. They're stuck in something. Let's see. What is this? Outcome for Libra. Outcome for Libra. The chariot, picking a path, moving forward, Cancerian energy, moving on to calmer waters. Yeah, see, things are going to move on to calmer waters with this you and this person. I feel like it is a wish fulfillment here for you. Yeah. This could be you. Or you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, another um, air sign. You have a stable new beginning happening here. The Emperor, Temperance, Communication, Page of Swords. Why is there some sadness here? What's going on with the sadness? So I feel like there's this communication that is very small, short, innocent is going to get kicked up a notch here. So expect more communication. I feel like this person is going to boss up and take control. So you might be feeling a little bit of a loss, sadness, regret, remorse right now because I feel like this person hasn't actually done that yet. So you might be feeling abandoned or alone. But they're, they're making their way towards you. They are. They're making their way towards you. Mm -hmm. For a new beginning. Wow, this could lead to Ten of Pentacles. There's attraction, passion, desire, um, chemistry. There's a spark here between the two of you. And I feel like this person wants to take it all the way to the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, long-term emotional fulfillment, stability, possibly like marriage. There, There is some drama that you guys got to work through here. It's not all rainbows and butterflies like you're hoping for here, but 
it's all going in your favor. It's this person's got to work through whatever the situation is that they got to work through. So let's see, what's your biggest obstacle? Letting go, stress, and completion. See, somebody needs to complete a cycle here and they're, they're almost there. Like that last puzzle piece is going into place overcoming the stress of this and maybe this person letting go or you letting go of the stress of the waiting the anxiety the what the heck and whatever that is i don't know someone needs to let go of something here let's see karmic partner conventional relationship duty bound by societal convention I feel like somebody is leaving a karmic yeah appreciate your twin appreciate you see the blessings practice appreciation fifth dimension intuitive communication you are connected at the soul level look higher power that this is something i feel meant to be blessed serendipity higher power What else do we have for Libra? I'm starting to understand our connection. I want you. I want to be more than friends. See, they're starting to see what this is, that it's blessed. I hope you're happy. <clears throat> Sorry, I hope you're happy. What else? What else? What else? Word vomit. I don't need your approval. <laughs> Leaving you hurt me too. Oh, I feel like this is you talking to them. I don't know how to let you go. I know we have a soul connection. You didn't break me. I know I made a mistake. I lied to you. I sacrificed, or sorry, I scared myself that day. What the heck happened with you, Libra, and this person? Ooh, got a little deep and heavy there. All right, let's get some letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name, could spell a word of significance. If they have the same first and last name, feel free to duplicate the initials. Same first and last name initials. Feel free to duplicate them because they only have one of each, all right? So B-T-R-O-I-E-X-L-J-W-Y-P and Z. I also see S-N-F-D, so S-N-F-D. B-T-R-O-Y-I-P-E-Z-W-X-L-J. All right, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, uh, number of days, weeks, months, years. Could be an age, could be an angel number. Place it where you see fit. All right, we have 8-8, eight, eight, Lionsgate. Something may have happened on August 8th. Uh, we have 5 and 7 and 9. So 5, 7, 8, 9. Uh, something could be the 5th, 7th, 8th, or 9th of any month, May, July, August, or September. All right, let's get some zodiac signs. Could be their star sign, strong placements in their charts, or something could happen during that season, like Libra season, for instance. All right, we have Leo. Leo, Cancer, Virgo, and Gemini. Leo, Cancer, Virgo, and Gemini. A lot of other signs did show up here, so place it where you see fit. It could be anybody. Um, Libra, that is what I have for you this week.